Today, we'll look at the five most major upgrades, which include everything from display specs to pricing and the much anticipated release date. So let's start with the most recent display leaks. If you recall, initial reports in May 2023 indicated that Sharp would provide LCD panels for the Switch 2. Bluebird published these reports, which appeared to be rather reliable. However, by December 2023, New rumors surfaced claiming that Nintendo may choose OLED screens manufactured by Samsung. This made sense given Samsung's participation in the current Switch OLED model. However, in January 2024, Bloomberg reported another Omnia story indicating that Nintendo would return to utilize LCE panels, with Sharp serving as the supplier once more. For those who own the original or red box Switch, this may not be a major disappointment because the Switch 2 will have a substantially larger 8-inch LCD compared to the original 6.2 inches. However, for Switch OLED users, switching from a 7-inch OLED to an 8-inch LCD may feel like a step back, particularly in terms of black depths and color brightness. The quality of the LCD panel Nintendo selects will be critical. The transition from the original Switch to the OLED model was significant not just because of LLED technology, but also because of the low quality of the original LCE, which had washed out colors and poor viewing angles. While the new LCE may not be as awful, it will not compare to the OLED experience. Nintendo most likely selected this way to keep expenses low and make the console more accessible, which leads us to the next major update, the price. Additionally, if the rumors about two different models at launch are accurate, one digital only version at $400 and another at $450 with cartridge support. There's potential for an OLED model to be released later, priced even higher. However, this is becoming less likely with recent leaks. A concern with this pricing is the competition. For $450, you can get the new five pound slim. Unless you're specifically looking for a Switch to play Nintendo's exclusive titles, the five pounds might be more tempting for many gamers. Now, let's talk games. The Switch 2 is expected to be backward compatible with Switch 1 titles. This has been reiterated by the Portuguese tech website Universa Nintendo, which has accurately leaked Nintendo Directs before. Moreover, developers will have the option to enhance Switch 1 games to leverage the Switch 2's improved processing power. Remember our previous video where we discussed Nintendo showcasing the Switch 2 running Zelda. Regarding exclusive Switch 2 titles, Sippo Speaks has reported that development on the next 3D Mario game was completed over the 2023 holiday period. This game is rumored to be visually stunning and includes Donkey Kong, hinting at a possible Mario vs Donkey Kong remake. However, just because the game is finished doesn't mean the Switch 2 will launch immediately. Nintendo often polishes their games for an extended period before release, as seen with Zelda. Tears of the Kingdom Moving on to hardware. A new patent from September 2023 reveals Nintendo's plans for Hall Effect joysticks. Unlike traditional potentiometer-based joysticks, Hall Effect joysticks use magnets to detect movement, making them much more reliable and durable. If you've experienced stick drift, this could be a game changer. While third-party controllers with Hall Effect joysticks are available, major console manufacturers have stuck with potentiometers due to lower manufacturing costs. It's promising that Nintendo is exploring this technology though it's uncertain if it will be featured in the Switch 2 or perhaps a future Pro Controller or Joy-Con iteration. Initially, the Switch 2 was rumored to launch in September 2024. However, Bloomberg now reports a delay to early 2025. This shift might be due to Nintendo's strategy of ensuring a polished product and possibly waiting for more major game titles to be ready for launch. Tokyo-based analyst Siren Toto suggests Nintendo is withholding its biggest releases for the next-gen Switch indicating a strategic delay to maximize impact. According to Universal Nintendo, we might see an official reveal in March 2025. Historically, Nintendo teased the original Switch in October 2016, with a March 2017 release. A five-month gap. A year-long wait post-reveal for the Switch 2 seems unlikely, so a reveal closer to the actual release date seems more probable. We'd love to hear your thoughts on the Switch 2 and everything we know so far. Stay tuned for more updates on the Switch 2 as they come in, and I'll see you in the next video.